Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Ibrahim Al-Jabal, who's the general coordinator of the Khalifa Empowerment Program for Students, and it's called Akda. So tell me, my Arabic is not very good. What does Akda mean? Uh, actually, maybe it is your mistake that your Arabic is not good. <laughs> uh, Akda does mean in Arabic, I can. Uh, in with this program, Khalifa Empowerment Program, actually it is a program in cooperation, in coordination with more than 50 partners in UAE. So all of us, we decided to uh, launch a program or new initiative, we call it AGDAR. It means I can. Just try to passionate the student to do an, a positive, uh, positive uh, behavior and positive things. So to positively engage with information communication technology? In, in, in everything. Actually, when we go back to the AGDAR program, it is not only focusing on the technology. We have four pillars. It is life skill education, uh, life skill crime prevention, health and safety, and uh, national identity. So, for example, here today we are in Wessex because we are focusing on the uh, crime prevention. The crime prevention, one of the crime prevention we are focusing on with the IT technology. And, and how much concern is there in the United Arab Emirates about the misuse of uh, social media? Actually, UAE is part of the world. You know, when we say that this, this is the global challenges, actually, we have now for social media. But if you go back to the statistic, UAE, more than 173% of the people they have using the mobile phone. It means for any single one here has two mobile. This is b make b very big challenges. If we go a little bit decided about the, the technology, now when you said 10 years back, the internet challenges was because it was a PC, then it shifted to the laptop. Now it is the, our mobile phone, it is internet. There is no control. As we, maybe further, uh, after five years, as the, the professional says, we are coming to the uncontrollable explosion of the technology. It means we have to make our new generation ready for the new challenges that's coming up. And what are some of these challenges when you talk about the uncontrollable explosion of the Actually, internet? Actually, you know, to be honest, as a parent, you know, maybe 10 years back, very frankly, I was, I was, my, the challenges was misusing about the sexual sites, you know, websites, some sites, the sexual sites, for example. Now the ICE is involved, for example, there's terrorism involved in this one, the traffic accidents involved, uh, the health issues, for example, now what we call it, uh, you know, the professional disease, for example, if they're using the, 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 this technology in the wrong way, maybe they have some, some diseases coming up, you know. So many challenges is coming up. And so what is your main message to students that they use this technology correctly and that uh, they don't misuse it? Actually, uh, myself and we believe the students of today they are leaders of tomorrow. So the, the message, we, we try to make them ready for the coming future, the, the, the ready for the coming challenges. It is their lives. So they, have, they should be ready. They, we give them some tools to be empowerment. This is the concept of Khalifa Empowerment Program. It says, Agdar. This is the meaning, the main concept of Agdar. It means it is your life. Please take care of your life. One of the caring of your life is to be ready with the challenges. One of the challenges they're facing, the technology. And it's a 360 program, so it's not just students ah, that yes. are part of this program. Yes, actually, you know, when we say 360, the other word is what is the un-360. The 360 means uh, to be make our new generation ready. It means we have to work for the students, parents, our partners, the community, the teachers. For example, we, we train more than 15,000 teachers how to deal. We found most of the teachers, it is not in UAE, globally, they are not enough professional to deal with the new technology. So that we train more than 15,000 teachers. We train more, we reach around 70,000 students. 
to the, you know, we, when we say the students, that the generation, in which age we have to go to the new st uh, to students. Uh, in Khalifa program, we go to, from age six till age 25. But for each age, it's different message, depend on the, you know, we have students, we have local students, we have non-local students, we have to respect that different culture. So it's actually, it is very comprehensive program. And the tools we are using, it is not only the, the presentations actually we have different different tools it could be games now for example we have games in apple stores we have four games already we launch it more than 12 million uh, individuals they download our games on, 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 on uh, apple stores it could be sometimes brochures we have different brochures in arabic and english we it could be delivered. We have a national program, uh, what we call it a national uh, curriculum awareness. This is, uh, I can't say, it. I'm guaranteed this is the first one in Arab country. I doubt maybe in the global world, because actually it is, we, we focus on four pillars. We believe that everything is integrated with each other. For example, when you come to, when you come to students, I say, be aware of the technology without working on the self-esteem of the student, life skill of the students, I cannot work alone. When we say, uh, be careful about the ISIS, I have to make self-confidence to deal with the peer pressure. Now we have e-peer pressure. So I have to make my students ready for that. Dr. Ibrahim Aldabal, thank you very much for joining us and telling us about the extremely comprehensive Agdar program. And do join us on the ITU YouTube channel for more interviews with ministers, regulators, experts on information and communication technology here at the WISIS Forum.